dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew, man? We're back in another death battle. When in the archives, Black Panther, Batman. You already got your pick. And don't just be like, you know, I gotta go with my Wakanda forever. Mm -hmm. No, no. It's, these are two rich, extremely rich individuals come from wealth. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they get to play around and be superheroes. Do I don't normally pick in the beginning. I know, I'm just saying, do you got a previous preview? Pick? I do. Wakanda forever, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, black <Pepper. laughs> That's what I'm going with. All right, so and when they, they change, break, when they break down the details, I'll let you know if I change my mind. That vibranium is a good one, though. Who, do you have one in mind? I don't know, man. I'm very, I'm very, very stuck. Who you stuck? And on? I got no. Nah, I'm not saying I'm stuck oh. on, on any one of them. Oh. I'm like, oh, you both stuck of on them are choose. like, both of them are defeatable. And it's really because of their their mind, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the we backing to, to really get to, but that vibranium is a mother, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's one reason why I'm like Black Panther might be, because only because Don't of go that. with that, because that's what I'm saying. I ain't saying nothing because of you. Mm. Hey, with that being said, make sure you check out the links <laughs> in the description box down below. You already know where to go, man. You want the first part? You gotta do it. Check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, like it with a thumbs up. We highly appreciate it. Let's get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see who might win this death battle. Let's go. Predators. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike in awe, but yeah, mostly fear. And these two superheroes embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Before he was the Black Panther, before he was a king, T'Challa was born the Prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. But while Wakanda itself is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. After earning numerous degrees from Harvard... Six foot, 200, Wakanda. Network. Now that's one one area you gotta look at. Network between these two. I really feel like the money back and it's behind gonna, it. It's because, gonna help them because I feel like the money is what can like buy this. You know what I'm saying? Buy equipment, buy weapons, buy. Mm. But you also gotta be have, be able to use it and have those strengths behind it. Facts. So I don't know, man. I'm just talking. I ain't just talking. <laughs> I'm just talking oh. Okay. Berkeley and MIT, T'Challa came home. His father, Wakanda's king and then current Black Panther, had been assassinated, and a new ruler needed to be named. But to claim the throne, he'd have to claw his way through the rite of passage. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating the crap out of six super deadly fighters. But hey, T'Challa wasn't just a nerdy brainiac. He could fight too, and he passed with flying colors. Earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda's guardian deity, Bast, the Panther God. But he had to nab some superpowers first, so he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb
without even looking. Hey Wiz, how do I become king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets, and Wakanda houses one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right. 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. And they hoarded it all to themselves. And I don't blame them. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for 10,000 US dollars. And Wakanda's vibranium mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over $9 billion. They're rich, super rich. With all that wealth, Wakanda became a techno marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. They were exploring outer space years before the US and Russia even tried. So why is this important? Well, as King of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The panther habit is coated in a vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. For example, bullets don't bounce off, they stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbed into the suit. Even the shells from a helicopter mounted minigun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a shield of hardened light, a teleportation device, and claws. Which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called anti-metal. Guess why it's called that? Because it can melt other metals. What can't this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. If it takes in too much, it could wind up expelling said energy in a, well, destructive fashion. Oh, God! Ah, uh, but don't worry, he's fine, somehow. Under T'Challa's leadership, Wakanda has warded off many would-be invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. They even stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has studied every major martial art, of which there are about 160. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. He can even throw spears through stone walls. Typically for construction like this, a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear hard enough to hit the wall with a force of over 20,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, and the guy is literally strong enough to punch your jaw off. He can outrun traffic and is said to be faster than a panther, which can run around 50 miles per hour. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. So, that's a lot of info, right? Yes. We all already see me to see. That's a lot of info. Are you still confident in your choice? So far. Well, I haven't heard the suit. That's what. That's the one thing I. Was... I haven't heard Batman's. You know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna stick to the vibranium. I'm gonna you stick know to he Black Panther. Mm -hmm. He he knows damn near every every fight. Yeah. His fighting style, and the suit. That's another thing I was wearing. I was like the suit. That suits the mother. So who? Yeah, I'm gonna stick to black, black person. But I do gotta hear. Yeah, but the facts let, let me better. hear. Let me hear. All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Whoa, hold on! Did he just take out five X Men by throwing another X Man at him? Yes, yes, he did. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. He's got the tech, the skills, and the country to prove it. Claw, do you have any children? No. Good, because I would have to kill them too. Oh! Throughout the underworld of Gotham City, one name strikes fear into the hearts of even the most hardened of criminals. The goddamn Batman! You know who he is, the billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty much, though don't mistake his intentions. 
Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How noble and ironic! Alright, six foot two. Two ten. Six. No, I'm saying six foot. Oh. Two ten. Two hundred. Hometown. Oh. Uh, net worth. A little, a little broke compared to uh, not a little the broke. Trillion. That's a lot of money. I'm saying, to, but yeah, to, to the, the trillion. trillion. Ninety two. What was it? Ninety point two or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Has twelve, twelve master degrees, and okay. is a master tat tactician, favorite meal, more I don't know. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Height, weight, just two inches, ten pounds. That ain't that much of a difference. Yeah, I told you size don't mean nothing to me. Considering he was taught to be a badass by a group called the League of Assassins. Well, he dresses like a bat, sleeps with a cat burglar, and constantly brings children into battle. So he's clearly got a few complicated issues. But let's see what he can really do. Bats is really, really smart and considered one of the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't have any superpowers at all. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? Sure, he's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedown, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting full body control at the age of 18, he was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Judo, and Boxing. It's not every day you can find someone who can literally take you down in 127 different ways. He's also touted as the world's greatest detective, and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. He once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. And all that's before his handy dandy utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. A lot of which are thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means Batman has it all too. According to Forbes, Wayne's net worth thanks to his company adds up to 9.2 billion US dollars. With that much cash, he can afford any kind of weapon he wants. Grappling hooks. He is quick enough to avoid gunfire and even Darkseid's nearly unavoidable Omega Beams. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, if Brucey ever enters the Olympics, everyone else might as well rage quit. Same difference, really. That's not to say he's invincible. True. Whenever the Justice League gets in a fight with some big bads, he usually has to keep his distance. He's also somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Those are my favorite types of arms. Maybe they'll help him next time Bane tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even after being drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot, to take down the Batman. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. All right, so, 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 C, C. Are you ready to make your choice? 
You make yours. No, are you ready to make your final choice? I'm still. I'm, gonna I'm, go stick, with Black I'm Panther. sticking with Black Panther. I'm going with Black Panther. I just think. You know some. I just follow my heart. I think it's a good matchup, though. Yeah, I think it's a great matchup. It's just something in saying go with Black. I'm just Panther. gonna follow my heart. That's how you feel. I'm just gonna follow my heart. All right, let's see. Challenge a king is to face the might of his people. I'll give them something to fear. See, I knew, I knew there was going to be a downfall. I'm like, don't save him. He don't want to be saved. But, uh, but they was coming in. He jumped into the... into the Child. No, you kicked him in there. I want my fight. No, that's part of your fight. No. I you kicked him in there. No, you kicked him in there. Now you just went and saved his ass. Child. No, you won. Is that how you feel? Hell yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> Witness the power of a king. Prepare yourself. I'm prepared for anything. Okay. That is his territory. Playtime is over. Trap. It was a trap the whole time. You follow him into his, his domain. <laughs> And so now the now it's not an even playing field. He should have let the kitties eat his ass. Not the kitties. The kitties love bet me. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> Try again. Did you think you were safe? <laughs> the strong shall hunt the weak. <laughs> that is the law of nature. And my rule is law. KO! Whoa, that's a new one! Black Panther and Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super yeah. geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and faster thanks to that superhuman herb. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. 
He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the Vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to Bats just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. In the end, Bruce just waned in comparison to T'Challa. The winner is Black Panther. Hey guys. Hey, good hey, view, that was man. Good. That was good. I and I, t I said, I said, man, because they are so evenly matched, yeah. right? And I'm like, damn, they like they match up too good. But I'm like, it can't be that easy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm like, one of them has to be able to like be able to withstand more than the other. And I was like, but and I'm like, they both have access to weapons and like utility. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, it's that one. Thing, though that herb and once you got like that's the one thing that Batman cannot achieve and that's the one thing that separates the two and tch, it's Marvel versus DC come on now <laughs> like if you, if you know you know hey a lot of people rock with DC a lot of people rock with Marvel but I just knew yeah. Marvel make their characters up I, just, I loved it you said I what I just follow my heart you just follow your heart yeah. you're like <laughs> <laughs> What kind of no, you hit your one kind of fire? No, 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 no. You don't want No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but I did. I just fall apart. Yeah, yeah. That's it is what it is. <laughs> I was like, if I'm wrong, then so be it. That but was a good one. That though. was good though. That was, that was a good, a good one, fight. man. Like that was mm. yeah, that was good. Fast, man. But hey. Make sure y'all spam us up in the comments. Please Y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions down below. But as always, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ Nikita. This is it. We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't tell your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long. Get my team strong. Let me run away from my